our case of discussion will be already 32 year lady who presents with heavy periods every few weeks or so. Let us review the history of the patient and then we will discuss the differential diagnosis, will each of them and discuss the assessment plans and all the related stuffs. 32 year G4P4 lady presents with irregular heavy branches every 3 to 4 weeks. She has history of tubal sterilization 3 years ago. She denies bleeding disorders and easy bruising. Ok, this point is very important. Why do we receive the history of a heavy vaginal bleeding patient? You must take the history of bleeding disorders such as hemophilia, bonerban diseases. Many, many times these are the causes of heavy vaginal bleeding. Ok, let us proceed further with examination. On a speculum examination, she doesn't have vulvar, vaginal or cervical lesions. There is dark blood in the vagina with pink mucosa and it is moist. But cervical mucosa is thin and watery. On pelvic examination, her uterus is asymmetric, minimally enlarged but non-tender and mobile. No adnexal masses were found. Ok. So our differential diagnosis will be pregnancy complication. As she is in her reproductive years, she is 32 years old lady. So first of all we should rule out pregnancy complications such as ectopic pregnancy, abortions, hydratiform walls. And this is easy to rule out. Just a simple beta ICG test will rule out pregnancy and all its complications. Then we will proceed with anovulation. Anovulation means there is no ovulation at the mid of the menstrual cycle. If ovulation doesn't take place, then what happens? There is no corpus luteum formation there is no progesterone secretion and the uterus endometrium becomes devoid of progesterone and its effect. So there is unopposed estrogen activity on the endometrium which will finally lead to endometrial hyperplasia and over time this will accumulate and at last it will set off as irregular heavy vaginal bleeding. In innovation may present with amenorrhea and then present with heavy vaginal bleeding. Fine, then so in any patient with irregular vaginal bleeding, innovation must be ruled out. And finally, we should rule out anatomic uterine lesions such as myomas or endometrial polyps. As I have already said, pregnancy is allowed using negative, I mean beta SCG test and in this case it is negative. Here the patient is complaining of irregular bleeding, which suggests inovulation. Always remember, irregular bleeding suggests inovulation, unlike regular heavy bleeding, which is known as menorrhagia and most of the time it is due to like uh, leomyomas that is fibroids. This is not the case here. Ok. Now after pregnancy complications we should rule out anovulation. And this is, really, this is done with progesterone trial. We give the patient with medroxyprogesterone acetate 10 mg for 7 days. And if there is no change in her bleeding pattern that means she is not having anovulatory cycles. If she would have been having anovulation, she would have changed in her bleeding pattern. Ok. After ruling out anovulation, we should rule out uterine anatomic abnormality. And in this case, with hysteroscopy, we found out she is having submucous myoma or endometrial polyp. And when
when we do hysteroscopy at the same time we can do resection of polyps hysteroscopy is both diagnostic as well as therapeutic procedure it can be done at the same time so in this case our final diagnosis is abnormal bleeding due to endometrial polyps okay now we'll summarize this case whenever any lady who is in her reproductive age group presents with abnormal vagina bleeding we should proceed step by step so we cannot miss any diagnosis first of all we would like to do a speculum examination of her vagina and cervix to rule out any lesions then we should do beta rcg test which will rule out pregnancy complications and finally we would proceed with sonography or hysteroscopy to rule out anatomic lesions such as polyps and myomas okay now when we discuss about abnormal vagina bleeding age group is very important because uh, in different age group there are different causes of abnormal vagina bleeding a lady's life can be divided gynecologically uh, into three stages that is pre menstrual phase after 12 to 13 years then menstrual phase or reproductive years and first menopause after 49 to 52 years the cause of abnormal vaginal bleeding in different age group is entirely different in premenstrual girls foreign body in the uterus or sexual assaults are the main causes or precocious puberty but in the reproductive age groups the causes of abnormal vaginal bleeding are these which we have already discussed and when a old lady when an elderly lady will present with abnormal vaginal bleeding we must rule out at first endometrial carcinoma okay with this discussion we conclude our case of abnormal vaginal bleeding and hope you have some idea how to proceed further with your patient when she will present with abnormal vaginal bleeding thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and please share your idea about this topic or any other related topics thanks once again